Hey guys, welcome to Code Decode. Today in this video, we'll be continuing with propagations and isolations in Spring Boot Hibernate Transaction Management series. So let's get started. Till now, we have completely covered required and have seen the demo for required new. We'll continue with the required new theory and we'll also cover nested, mandatory, never, not supported, supports and many, many more things. So let's get started. Hey guys, there's a super amazing app called as Next Level recently launched by an academy for you. Next Level is an ultimate platform for you to showcase your expertise and skills and get professional ratings. The better is a professional rating, the better is your job opportunities. Yes, this is the application where you will have job opportunities out there for you, waiting for you. There are many coding competitions on the application. All you need to do is participate in these coding competitions, compete with the people, win the coding rounds. The more you win, the better is your rating. The better is your rating, the more is the job opportunities unlocked for you. Yes, they have multiple partners across the multiple domains like in IT services like HCL, ECS, Infosys, SAP Labs, in e-learning platform also like Scalar, Simply Learn, in finance department like ICICI, in e-commerce department like Cashify and many more. You can invite your friends and challenge them to coding competitions. The best part is the app is completely free and the link to download the same is given in the description below with the code reference. Right now you will need to join the waitlist. You can start playing on the app as soon as your waitlist is confirmed. So hurry, download the app, join the waitlist to get the early access to the app. Also do not forget to refer to your friends so that you can get ahead in the waitlist. So what happens, it instructs the container to always create a new physical transaction and do not inherit from the outer transaction. And the outer transaction will have its own connection boundary while the requires new creates the inner physical transaction which will bound a new connection to database. I suggest never do that because as more and more number of internal calls are there, more and more new transactions are created, a database has a limit to connections being created. So until it is really required to do those two things in the separate connection, do not do that. Now this is a synchronous execution. While the physical inner transaction is running, the outer transaction is suspended. That is why my employee and address was not working simultaneously. First address was added and then the employee was added. So the connection remains open till that time since it is suspended, nobody is going to work upon the employee table. So after transaction, inner transaction commits, the outer transaction resumes. And hence you can see when the debugger came to an end, then only the employee was added. Till then, my employee thread, which was going to save an employee to the database, was suspended. The reason all being, you have used this culprit. You have used requires new, which was all the problem. We have more such type of uh, transaction propagations like nested. Nested is just like required, but it uses a save point. So what it does is, Spring checks if the transaction exists. If so, it marks the save point. So what it does here is, if you mark it as nested, then what it does is at line number 33 a save point is created here a, a dummy or proxy code is created here at save point now spring checks if the transaction exists if it exists it marks the save point at line number 33 here which makes sure that anything goes wrong at line number 33 inside this then you have to just roll back only till line number 33 and not before that so everything that is going to be rolled back is only here and it is not going to affect your these many line of code. Employee will be saved in the database. So that is the beauty of nested. It creates a save point. It says, okay, after this, a transaction is getting created. The existing transaction has the save point. If anything goes as an exception here, only line number 19 will be reverted and everything will remain intact. So employee will be saved, address will not be saved. So nested says if transaction exists, mark a save point and whenever some exception is thrown, transaction is rolled back only till line number 33, not before that. And if no active transaction is there, then it is working same as required. It will create a new transaction and rollback will be only for the address class. So that's the nested. Next is mandatory. It says I need a transaction for sure. So if you have give that to me. But if you do not have an exception, I'm going to throw an exception. So the mandatory propagation says, I'm not going to open a transaction myself. I am a lazy kid. Give me a transaction. And if you do not give me a transaction boundary, I'm going to throw an exception. If you have not opened it earlier. I am not going to create a new transaction for me, but transaction is important for me. So here, if you make it mandatory, what will happen? It says, I need 
need a transaction for sure but i am lazy i am not going to create a transaction for me so if you do not have a transaction here for me i am going to throw an exception let me run this for you once and see if the exception is actually occurring i am going to replace every data we have here so that i can have a new data for you so employees not transactional that means employee should be added to the database by now oh the problem that we have done is we have made the class level transactional so even we have commented this transaction at method level it is taking transaction from the class level and the precedence is given to the class level so this is a problem i have to remove this transaction also to prevent any kind of physical transaction here so that i can showcase that when i go here and it has transaction mandatory with the propagation it says if you do not give me a transaction i'm going to give you an exception so let me debug it again after removing transaction from the class level and from the method level if i go here i can say my employee is added with two code one because hibernate sequence was earlier increased so employee is saved at just line number 29 because either a transaction or not, was not used so it was not waiting for your boundary to be ended now since it does not have any transaction it throws an exception it says what is an exception thrown no existing transaction found for the transaction marked with propagation mandatory so this is the exception that was expected since you have marked your address as mandatory this address service says i need to have a transaction and my parent has to give me a transaction now parent is not marked as transaction neither the service nor the class nor the method there was no physical transaction the address class started crying saying i need a transaction if you don't give a transaction i'm going to throw an exception and it has thrown an exception so that's mandatory the fifth one is never so i'm going to throw an exception if someone else start up a transaction it is opposite to mandatory the never propagation never states that no physical transaction should exist if a physical transaction is found then never give will give you an exception saying existing transaction found for the transaction marked with propagation never similar to mandatory what we have seen here if the transaction was created here and your address was having never then it says i do not want any transaction at all if the parent is giving me a transaction i am going to not inherit and rather i am going to throw an exception so it says no physical transaction should be given to me by the parent if it started a transaction before me i'll throw an exception so you must ensure that no physical transaction is open if you use never but i will never suggest you to do that now not supported not supported says if the current transaction exists spring for suspend it and the business logic is executed without a transaction at all so this physical transaction will be automatically resumed at the end of the address class and employee will be added so if there is a transaction and i mark it as not supported then it says i do not support a transaction i want to do everything without a transaction boundary so if you give me a transaction boundary i am going to suspend it at line number 33 and everything in my code will be done with non transaction boundary and the thread can automatically resume working after my task is done after line number 33 so that's not supported i do not support a transaction so if you send it i am i'm not going to throw an exception don't worry but i'm going to suspend it i do my work without a transaction and you can continue working from there then supports support says i am the most flexible one i do not care if transaction is open or not i can work in either ways if you give me a transaction great so first check if the transaction is there if the transaction exists then existing transaction will be used if transaction is not there then i'm going to work without any transaction i'm okay with everything i support you i support if you have transaction i support you even if you don't have transaction i can work in any condition but i'm not going to open a transaction now i have many more things to cover transaction isolation levels what is dirty read non repeatable read phantom read how to prevent such kind of things many many things i have to cover with the transaction isolation if you want to know more you have to let me know in the comment section thank you